What's up people? Welcome back to the Boxing Objective. This is just going to be a short video just to give a little recap over the fights that happened last night between Javante Tank Davis and Mario Barrios. And then on the other side, on a separate show, we had Lomachenko versus Nakatani. I'll start with Tank. Now, Tank had to win this one. It was a must win. And Barrios did put up a very, very good fight and as the fight went on you could just tell the tank was getting closer and closer and closer and he made it very difficult for Barrios to implement any kind of game plan that he had now I wouldn't say the tank's performance was all that impressive it was good it was good it was solid but it wasn't that impressive because at the end of it it was his power that just carried him through that he hit Barrios with a gazelle punch from hell. Took the man off his feet and credit to Barrios, he got up. Then Tank hit him with a left hook. Barrios got up again and then he kind of um, caught Javante with a couple of good shots. And Javante looked like he, he felt those for a second, took a moment and then he just finished Barrios off with a lethal body shot after a small exchange. Now there was one point where um, Floyd kept on seeming to be chiming in with the corner, um, sorry, with Javante's corner and interrupting his corner team doing their work. But it was one point where Floyd said to Javante on the unofficial scorecards, you're down. And he's like, I'm just telling you the truth. That's, that's the unofficial scorecard. And then Tank turned it up. He really did turn it up and he did the business. Now, I don't think um, Barrios is an out and out 140 pound guy. I would like to see Tank go up against an out and out 140 pounder to see how he would do. Um, do I think Tank could beat Lomachenko? I really don't know. I really don't know. I think Tank versus Lopez is an interesting fight. I don't think Ryan Garcia could beat Tank and I don't think Devin Haney could, but maybe Tio or Loma, they've, they're the two guys that's probably got the best shot of beating Tank. I think maybe, you know, why don't you go and fight Josh Taylor? There's a good fight for Tank Davis, Josh Taylor, the current undisputed 140 pounder. And I'm not sure what's going on with the belts there because I think Josh Taylor holds a version of the WBA that Tank has just fought for and they've declared Tank as the um, super lightweight world champion. So what's going on there? I have no idea. Now, Lomachenko seems to be heading right back to winning ways. He did put on a performance where you saw all of the things in play that make Lomachenko the great fighter that he is. And what I've noticed is that there comes a point where his, his opponents just get completely drained and by round five, I mean, the shots that Lomachenko was landing was just as a result of the onslaught that he had put on Nakatani in the previous rounds. I thought it was a good performance by Lomachenko. And considering what he's had to come back from, not just the loss, but also that injury that he had, I think it's going to be interesting to see what he does next and hopefully, you know, we get to plug back into the matrix because I do miss that part of boxing where you'd see Lomachenko just do those amazing things in the ring and it's good to see him back. Now, I think there's an interview with Bob Arum. I think the Teofimo Lopez rematch is very much on the table. I think it's just a matter of them paying Teo what he wants and he will give Loma a rematch. Now, I wonder, you know, if Lomachenko is going to be able to go there and get the job done. Because, to be fair, I think Teofimo did a very good job in the first fight. So, we'll see. But anyway, this was just a quick video, just to give you guys a little recap. To my knowledge, all of these highlights, I think the full fight of um, Lomachenko versus Nakatani is already available on YouTube. The highlights for um, the stoppage in the Tank Davis fight is floating around out there. And um, yeah, I suggest you go and have a look if you didn't stay up to watch the fights. Go and seek out the highlights and let me know what you think. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, especially if you want to be entered into the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away 
some boxing related prizes at the 200 subscriber mark so if you don't leave a comment i won't have your name to put it in the hat for the draw so thank you very much guys and i will catch you on the next video peace